All right, everyone, welcome to the channel. Got something new and exciting for you. Well, new anyway, and here it is. This is a Palm 3 XC handheld. Uh, I believe it's the last of the Palm 3 line. It's new in box. It's got its, you can see that beautiful Fry's Electronics sticker, $249. I believe this is 1999 calling out for help and here it is it's described as having a razor sharp lcd screen wow a few other fun tips and tricks in there but all right take a look take a look at the box you can see it's still got its plastic on it and it's never been unwrapped so let's open this guy up and uh See how bad the batteries are in there. <laughs> Here we go. I'm just going to carefully open this. I do have an urge to save that Fry's Electronics sticker that. <laughs> cheapy little plastic or excuse me paper label that's uh i don't see too many of those that paraphernalia is uh hard to come by nowadays especially when with regards to old electronics packaging and you know paraphernalia anyway here it is and uh let's see what's inside all right as i suspect as much uh Got some turn of the century, it's, you know, probably 99 uh, Duracell Ultras, and uh, they are uh, they are a bit crunchy. Let's see if the little tester still works. And that is a no, but there you have it. All right, so it looks like we got a get starting, getting started guide. Read this first. It's a nice, handsome stock photo with a. Uh, piece of cardboard backing we got a oh, this one's quite substantial this is uh, accessories for palm connected organ organizer the big old manual got a parallel to serial yes this this does have uh, parallel uh, excuse me this does use serial for its connection got a nice base nice uh, hot sink cradle and then we got the uh, the main attraction here, it's a model Palm 3 XE, item number 180-1455-01. Let's break the seal and see what it looks like. As you can see, it's unlike the Palm TX from, I believe it's last week. Um, you can see it's got its own almost hard case, you got the nice plastic covering the LCD it's gone now and uh, it's a nice rather attractive charcoal gray I've never actually had um, one in this condition usually the ones I find are faded out and uh, and a uh, you know just beat to hell but this one's in you know, like new condition <laughs> well there we go you can see the uh, stylus is nicely molded in the back um, yeah, looks good. Let's, uh, get some batteries into this thing and let's fire it up. All right, I don't think we need any instructions on this. Let's, uh, put some batteries in and see what she's able to do. Oh, that's odd. Uh, notice the, uh, springs, plus and minus, the springs are on the same side, so you're going to... Put your positive terminal on that one and negative terminal on that one. Interesting. All right, let's pop it open. Let's see, it's powering up. Let's see. Step one out of four. Welcome. The following screens will walk you through the setup process. Okay, we already got the stylus out. So. <laughs> Six 
658 on the 19th. And there we go. It's pretty much uh, set up, ready to go as far as just basic PDA stuff is concerned. And you can see we've got a. Um, you can see that there we go. Um, you can see it's just got the basic functionality: address book, calculator, date book, graffiti. This is actually something I haven't talked about. Um, <clears throat> Palm actually had their own system of handwriting recognition um, that was not. You know regular handwriting you actually had a certain stroke you had to write as you can see the examples here a b c d e it's kind of like cursive but it's very specific gestures in order to write the letter um so if we can just do it so you can see a is like a little triangle b's it's an h <laughs> it was very um unlike the apple newton which tried to attempt to you know, learn your natural handwriting. This one basically forced you to learn a new handwriting style in order to put data into the into the uh, device. And uh, you know, I it's been a very long time since I've had to do it, so my a little rusty. But um, they had two versions: they had Graffiti One and Graffiti Two. The Palm TX had Graffiti Two, so Palm OS Five had Graffiti Two, which had a more natural style of handwriting like the B was you know written like a B instead of a capital B it was a uh, if they basically optimized it a little bit better for novices but this is the this is of course the old style you can see in this uh, if I flip this on I'm not sure if you could see it I might have to turn the uh, light off here Let's turn that right now if that's coming through even then hold on okay so right now it's kind of dark outside but you can see that it's got this very interesting greenish uh, glow going on to it it doesn't pick up well on the camera but this is I would say a very crude backlight it's almost like a electroluminescent display on the back of your um, speedometer if you're driving along at night you know how it's got that soft glow this would be equivalent and you know it's perfectly serviceable and it's not blinding like um for example i'm gonna pull the palm tx out here excuse me you can see how almost overwhelming that is especially if you're in pitch black but no this uh, electroluminescent display is actually really nice All right, so I think uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to hot sync on this thing and uh, pull open some of the quick start guides. See what see what all's going on here. I think we should start with the of course read this first. Don't just power it on and uh, do things manual. So let's uh, take a look and see what uh, see what this guy says. So we gotta read this first. Got the Palm Desktop Organizer software, and this is this is what I was looking for. Actually, this is a graffiti sticker. So, if you look on the back of this case, you see this little spot right here where you would um, this little indented spot within the case. This is where you would put your little cheat sheet. So, when you're dealing with a client or you don't embarrass yourself, you can just kind of <laughs> whip this out right here, and. Uh, you know, it would be open like this in your hand, and then you would be able to see, especially like this. That's uh, that's where they would go, and obviously there's this, you know, you either get the alphabet or punctuation and not both, you know, so handy. And then, you, of course, you got this business card. It's got a fold in the center to put in your wallet, you know, or wherever. <clears throat> Registration today. I should try sending this in and see where it goes. Palm Incorporated, Santa Clara, California. PO Box 580, 58070. 
And we've got worldwide customer support. Sure, all of that is useful today, a piece of cardboard. And let's get started. Okay, so it's telling me to explore my Palm 3 organizer. I basically, oh, so we did do the right thing. We installed the batteries, good. I configured it, good. And now we got a hot sink it. So let's uh, let's bust the computer out and uh, install this thing and see what it does. Obviously it comes in a nice card. And you still see it uh, actually has the ability to order 3.5 inch floppy diskettes. Um, according to that, shipping charges were $5.95 in the U.S. And it was $14.00. Three ninety five for three point five inch diskettes, and uh, if you wanted USB, it's thirty nine ninety five. Very nice. All right, IBM compatible four eighty six. Well, I got a four eighty six. No, we're not doing that. I'm not wasting any time. All right, here we go. The unenhanced Panasonic experience. And to celebrate the turn of the century era, you've got Windows 2000 Professional, greatest operating system ever made. <laughs> Not even XP holds a candle to it. You got your classic start menu built in, no colors, and it runs Windows 95 and 98 applications like like it was yesterday. Of course, this is the going to be sped up in post, but <laughs> that's, that's 1999 for sure, man. Whew. Next, 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 yes. Next. Let's see what options we've got. Uh, budget, we're going to the next. Chris, next. There we go. I do want that free technical support. I mean, that's, that's where it's at right there, isn't it? Okay, we don't want to register. But I do want the free copy of soft, I mean, of uh, Solitaire. That's where it's at. And of course, I want you to remind me in two weeks. Crap. Whoops. Actually, what's it? <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Pretty good. That was fairly painless. All right, let's get the uh, palm on there and see what it does. So it's on the dock. You can see that. And I'm just going to press the button. It should wake up here. There we go. I'm going to set it as Chris. Synchronizing all my my settings and databases, and there it is. It's it's ready to go. Cool. All right, and that's actually how you hot sync. Obviously, there's nothing on the on the actual device right now. That's why it was so fast. But um, if I remember correctly, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the box here. This this storage capacity is eight megabytes. Uh, for those of you old enough to remember digital cameras from that time period, eight megabytes over serial is that's an hour and a half of pain, and you're using you know batteries like these or you're using batteries like these for power and that's yeah that's not that's not feasible that's why in the next generation the palm 5 and the <clears throat> the, uh, the subsequent ones they all tended to have their own built-in rechargeable battery and it used a cradle for charging which was nice um, so I think that's it let's uh, 
let's open some of the accessories and see what all's going on in there. And, uh, oh man, there's some. Um, okay, so I'm gonna unbox it here in the stack it came in outside of the plastic. Let's see what we got. So we got the accessories for palm connected organizers. Take a look in here. Now that's <laughs> that's something I need right there. Uh, old G3 iMac, the 233 megahertz Bondi Blue um, Amaze machine. It's, um, obviously, it looks like some wallets, some cases. Man, I think they were really targeting the, I would say, business, modern business professional from the late 90s with this, wouldn't you say? Three column palm computing accessories, nice. Nice, so palm, palm 5 was already out by the time this thing was released. Actually, that's something I want to do. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. I do have a Power Mac this generation. We could uh, plug it in over local talk and just see what happens. Let's see, copyright 2000. So, yeah, interesting. Software resource guide. Just a bunch of cases. And, I mean, actually, some of this stuff's interesting, but, I mean, a lot of it is. Uh, been replicated in the iPhone. I mean, I just saw a, a business card scanner from the time period. And that's, <laughs> that's, you know, we almost take that for granted now using your iPhone or uh, Android camera. And then you could see Omni Sky with their, uh, the ability to basically synchronize data and browse the internet. That's, wow, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, surprisingly, uh, these things are obscenely expensive when they turn up on eBay, if you can find them. So, but something interesting. Handbook, of course. Easy to read, 234 pages. Got your warning guide in 80 different languages and legalese. Wow, Thorohead beat Apple Care, that's for sure. Interactive service, and that's it. Literally a blank sheet of paper at the end of that. But there you go. That's everything that was in there in this in this order. As you can see, if if you looked at that Palm TX uh, from last time, I mean th this this is a comprehensive suite of uh, instructions. Uh, the Palm the TX came with almost nothing. It's uh, quite a shame to go from uh, to go from such quality to you know to, you know this <clears throat> but you can almost see how you know they're they're very similar they're very the dimensions are the same i mean very close the screens are almost the same dimension you look at the the actual graffiti area this is that little box where they write write the graffiti it's um it's very similar the screen resolutions are you know the same uh, aspect ratio um, and this one I know supports this resolution I don't, don't quote me on it I don't know what the resolution is so <clears throat> is what it is uh, but this one the palm 3 is actually much heavier than this guy I'm, I'm equating that to the uh, the batteries in it of course you know these things are, are probably a third of the weight on this guy um, but build quality I'd say I like these ones with its chunky buttons and this one, but the screen on this guy's on the TX is much better. I mean, it is. This one is just you can you can almost see it flex when you're tapping on it. It's terrible versus this guy when you turn it off, you're so not press anything. This guy still does it, but it's nowhere near as bad as this one. Um, all right, now this is something that I haven't pulled out yet. This is uh, this is an actual Palm Pilot. This is the first generation this is a palm pilot personal with a palm 3 upgrade i'll you know probably go over that in a different video but you can see this is actually glass compared to this guy and this guy or some form of hard plastic um 
you know, they're all same size, same shape. Um, yeah, you could see almost the, the kind of design language and how it's changed very little since, you know, it's first in, excuse me, it's first incarnation in 98. And, uh, no, it's, uh, no, it's, a. Uh, I'd say I wish people still used them. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, um, that's that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the Palm 3 XE. Um, I'm gonna field test it for a while, see how it feels. I mean, it's you know it's very dissim it's very similar to the original one that got released in '98. I mean, it's still a 6,800 uh, 68,000 you know Motorola processor. Um, Nothing, nothing too crazy. This one's got eight megs versus the other one's only got something like four. Um, but I, you know, they're they're good devices. I'm gonna, you know, field test it and see how it see how it handles. It's been a long time since I've had to deal with a uh, a black and white Palm OS, um, and I have a feeling that it's basically going to manage my calendar and uh, you know do basic calculations and be a Rolodex. You know, as good as it was then, it should be able to do that now. Um, cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you got any ideas, let me know. Uh, and cool. Thanks for watching.